everyone, welcome to Silly Fokker RC. My name's Tony and tonight we're going to be building a new tricopter made by Fortis Airframes. It's called the Titan and it's looking pretty good. The videos on their website are pretty awesome uh, and it just looks like a bag of bits to me at the moment. I'm sure we're going to make something pretty nice out of it. Anyway, we've got some extra bits to go with it. We've got some Sunny Sky 2212 1400 kV motors. We, they come highly recommended for this, so uh, we're going to be using those. I bought four, just in case. Um, one of the options for the arms for the tri, carbon fiber. I've gone with one of those because I'm a poser. Um, the other stuff we've got, uh, the ESCs. These are ProFlight UK ESCs, Simon K flashed 30 amp which are pretty good. Other things we've got, male to male servo leads. Uh, we've got some Hobby King um, little cushions for the KK board. Gyrofoam. Gyrofoam, apparently it's called. Right, for the KK2. This is gonna be flashed with the 1.6 firmware. And uh, I've had this on my, my quadcopter and it works flawlessly, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, the other bits and pieces we've got, lots of bullet connectors. Um, 3.5 mil bullet connectors. 3.5 mil bullet connectors. And we've got a servo for the tail. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember the, uh, well, it's a high-tech HS8E2MG metal geared. It's the one that comes highly recommended for this one. The tail section apparently is built specifically to fit that servo. We'll see how it works. Some extra bits we've got, 14 AG wire, plenty of that. Uh, but I've also got some of this sheath, uh, nylon sheathing. This will protect all the wiring, keep it nice and neat and stop any shorts and stuff. So we'll have a nice tidy build. Uh, I'm not gonna go on too much like some of our other presenters. Um, we're gonna go straight to the build. Malk's gonna come, come and help me as well. We're gonna do I don't know if you can see it in the corner of the screen. We've got a GoPro doing a time lapse, so that should look pretty cool. Um, we're going to come back to you if we find any problems with the build. The fact that there's no instructions whatsoever with this kit, for, for me personally, it kind of uh, it lets, it lets the side down a little bit. If I was to produce a product like this, I would, even if it's just basic instructions, I would leave some in the kit. All we got was an email from Fortis Airframes, which is appreciated, but it's just an email with a link to their website with some really basic instructions. But I think it would be a nice touch if they were to put a little print out in the pack. But I'm sure we'll be fine anyway. Um, the delivery was ultra quick as well. Coming from the States over here, took about four, four maybe five days maximum. So, How much was it, sir? Um, the whole kit, including and in here we've got the um the damped camera mount i've got the carbon fiber extras um there was something else as well but it came to about 120 dollars which in this country is uh, comes about to about 80 quid, about 80 quid yeah and uh, i'm not complaining about anything so far i mean the kit feels really nice i've had, had a look at the pieces it all looks pretty good so uh, at that price point we're on to a winner. Anyway, we're going to get on with the build. And as I said, Malk's going to come in with some voiceover during the, uh, the time lapse bit that you're going to see if we come up with any problems. Um, if we do come up with some serious problems with it, we'll stop, we'll cut, we'll come back and we'll have a little moan straight to camera. Anyway. Hello guys, right, so far we, the build's going together very well. Um, we've got the chassis together, uh, it's looking really nice. Uh, we've got the yaw mechanism together, it's gone on the arms really good, uh, very pleased with it. And the other arm booms. All we've got to do now is sort out the loom. Malk's going to sort that out for me, um, but we're leaving that till last so we can make a really nice fit and make it really tidy. Um, 
it's gone together well. The kit itself, I think, is fantastic. At the price point, it's absolutely amazing. So to, to that end, um, I'll take my hat off to the guys. I have got a slight problem, though. I still think it should come with an idiot's guide. You need something in the pack with some instructions on. Um, the website wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. The illustrations were quite good. A little bit dark. Um, I was using my phone because uh, where we're building it isn't right on top of the computer. So looking at the images on my phone, they looked a bit dark and it was kind of hard to see where things were fitting in. We managed to figure it out. Um, and all in all, not too bad. Uh, I do think little Billy, if he's going to buy a kit like this, he's going to need his hand holding, you know, because it is quite tricky. But it's very good anyway, uh, you know, so the kit itself is brilliant. Um, where we're at now, we're just putting bits and pieces together now. We've, we've put the main major components together uh, and now we've just got to put them all together mount the KK board, get it flashed and stuff. Um, I would like to say that this blue tubing is such a good fix for the motors. Absolutely fantastic. But again, for its airframes, if you're listening, black arms, let's get some black rubber. <laughs> All right, it's pretty good though. It's, uh, it's a really, really good solution. Okay, these, uh, these Sunny Sky motors, both me and Malk really like these. They suit this, this copter absolutely to a T. Uh, the quality of the motors, they feel really good. The prop adapters, really good quality. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait to get this in the air. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's taken us a couple of hours so far, but it's been fun. It's been interesting. Uh, nothing's been difficult. Tricky, uh, but not difficult. And uh, now we're in the final stages. So, um, I'm sure we'll have a few more pictures from the, uh, the time lapse to go in as it's going together and it'll be good. We'll get back to you soon. Okay, there she is, all done. What a good build. Beautiful kit, really well made. We love it. Malk's going to get one, and I'm pretty sure. Now, Malk's built a few tricopters in his time, an FBV manuals, Del Ring kit, done loads. He, he's in love with this. I'm in love with it. It is so well made, and it's a lovely bit of kit. We're, we're well impressed with the kit. Um, the build went reasonably well. Uh, a little bit of forethought would have been a little bit more useful. Um, so if you're going to buy this kit, think about, about where you're going to put your wires carefully before you put it together. Make sure you give yourself an, sort of an extra bit of slack in the, uh, the wiring loom for when you fold up um, the arms. Uh, the quality of the, the uh, material is really good. Uh, everything goes to, together really, really well. Everything fits. So yeah, we're well pleased with it. This is what it looks like with the, uh, the camera attachment. So hopefully that'll be giving some nice footage. Um, the, the Sunny Sky motors, fantastic. They're so quiet, really, really quiet. Good, good quality motor. Uh, the yaw mechanism went together really well. As I said earlier, we had some problems with the instructions, but they're not too bad, not too bad at all. Put in an idiot's guide and I'll be really happy with this. This is a really good kit to get. So if you're thinking about getting uh, a tricopter for FPV, don't look any further than the Titan. Awesome. Snow the seal, isn't it? And that's standard PR days on the 1.6 software. Right, there we go guys, that's the Triton Tricopter, sorry, Titan Tricopter from Fortis Airframes. Um, expect to be seeing some more footage.
from this supercopter when Tony gets his GoPro and when it's not 2 o'clock in the morning, which it nearly is now. So thanks very much for watching this episode. Please stay tuned and subscribe for more. Forgot to mention, hope you noticed the flight test t-shirt. You know, it's not just about our channel. Those guys do great work here at Silly Fokker RC. We're all fans of them. Go and check their site out. They've got some really good information out there as well. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Ah.